I, I literally have no idea why or what's going on. I just can't sleep. <laughs> well, like, I, I fall asleep fine. I just can't stay asleep. Which I've struggled with sleep my whole life, but it's just, like, so much worse right now for some reason. Hopefully it'll get better soon on its own. I don't know. I've had this persistent headache, and I'm assuming it's related, because, like, they started around the same time, and it's just... Boy, <laughs> I just need a nap. But when I say I need a nap, I mean, like... A month of naps, you know? Just like, I need a nap for a month, rather, is like what I'm saying, you know? I just need a very long, extended nap. Some people might call that sleep, but, uh, no, it's like, sleep is, sleep is different, you know? I just need, I just need a month of laying in bed and not moving. <laughs> a temporary coma, if you will, that would... That'd be kind of nice. Anyways, there's uh, subtitles. That's pretty cool. Toggle hotkeys, brightness. Sure. We'll turn it up a little bit. Swap hotkeys. I wonder what that's about. Um, we'll leave everything else on default, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That seems good. What are the extras? Art gallery. Hmm. <laughs> Art gallery songs and whatever the other thing was. I don't even know what it said. It's fine. This is a game made by In Exile, which is cool, I guess. I can't remember what else they've made. Um, <laughs> they've definitely done dumb. They've definitely done some other stuff. Was it them that did Fallout? They did Fallout, right? What 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 else do they do? Like I said, my my brain is broken right now. I can't think very much. What is? What is, oh, this is like their actual website. I want like Wikipedia for them. What games have they made? Bard's Tale. Maybe it was like people that left the studio that did Fallout. I can't remember. That made uh, In Exile. I know like I've heard of In Exile before for some reason, but oh, apparently this was their first game developed like as a as a studio. At least according to Wikipedia, but like, you know. Oh, they also did the Wasteland games, which uh, one of these days I would love to try. I have Wasteland 2. Um, and I think I have Wasteland 3. Wait, do I have Wasteland 2? I don't know. I know I definitely have at least one of them. I want to play it one of these days, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I don't know most of these games, though. Bard's Tale 4. Wait. So there's the Bard's Tale... And then somebody else made two other games, and then they came back for number four? That's weird. Anyways, uh, whatever. Enough of that. Let's just make our character, shall we? The I vitality will increase the bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to listen to him, like, read all of this for me. Uh, high vitality will increase the bard's health, making it more difficult to defeat in battle. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects. Dex is... High dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with range. So basically, do we want to be melee or ranged? How much health do we have? How lucky do we want to be? Um, significant discounts. Are there, like... I wonder if there's actual, like, skill checks that we want to use the charisma for as well? Then Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill. What would auto-allocate do? Hmm. It doesn't, like, show us what it does. Oh, uh, that's cool. And depending on the difficulty, we just get, like, free points. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other changes or if that's it. You know, let's just do auto-allocate. If we ever actually, like, play through the game to try to play through it to completion, rather, then we can, like, you know, worry about it then. But in the meantime, whatever. We'll do, we'll do auto. Um, gives the part a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. That sounds nice. <laughs> Sorry, very tired. Bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Nah. Mm. Like with a drink in one hand and a sword in the other. Uh, I can't help but notice. Okay, power shot is a ranged one, I guess. Um, let's do critical strike. Critical strike is useful for like everybody. So. Very dark game, ain't it? 
should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants. Summoned That's a very quiet game. And song as cold and indifferent to him. As the I can't help but notice the subtitles that it told us we would have are, are gone. Like, we turned that on specifically, but there ain't none here. You see, they're just, they're not, they're just gone. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no subs. Maybe that's only, like, in-game subs or something? I don't know, man. I don't know how things work. You've made a mistake in coming here. But to know where he is, we need to know where he is from. And to know that, we've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McQuarrie. The bard ready to... The Drunken Rat. I like it. To buy his trade. Wait, did we literally just summon a rat? <laughs> so wait, are we like just literally a con man? Are we just creating problems for us to solve? What is what is going on, man? Ah, a rat! A rat! You drunken lopes! Get off your backsides and kill it! I'll save you, fair damsel. Literally, that is what we're doing. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Straight con men, alright. Strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happen to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything. The fucking jiggle, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Rats, you say? In the cellar. How cliche of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got in case you run into trouble. How big of rats are we talking about that we need a bigger sword? Wink. You might have. This, this is a game, all right. Okay, uh, can we go into the settings from here? Because I want to turn up the master volume to... Apparently, it goes up to 11. Of course, it does. Dialogue volume should be all the way up. Like, all, all the way up. There we go. And everything else is probably fine. Although the game does still look like a wee bit dark to me personally. I don't know what it is. Turn it up a tiny bit more. Map cycle. Man, why is like... Are my settings messed up or something? Why is everything so blurry? Like all the text is super blurry and kind of hard to read. I mean, I'm sure this was like a... A PC first title, right? Not a, not a, whatchamacallit? Oh, not a PS2 first game, but like, still. Yeah, I don't know, man. It still looks a little like, even the menu for my retro tank looked a little off, a little weird. It's, my settings didn't get like messed up in OBS or something, did they? They shouldn't have. I don't know why they would. 1080p. Uh, everything else is just like, uh, everything's normal. Everything's the way it should be. It's just like, I guess it's just the game. Anyways, uh, can we like talk to people and stuff? Square to listen to the drunks.
bro. Beautiful. I love that it's like a sing along, man. Like, <laughs> I did not expect this whenever I decided to listen to the drunks, you know? I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, a quest or something. <laughs> How long is this song? It just keeps going, man. I think Charlie Mops. This is the game, yeah. This is the whole game. You just listen to drunkards sing. It's it's not actually a game. It's just a uh, sing-along simulator, you know? It's <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we listen to him again? <laughs> Imagine if we could. Speak with bar patron. Here we go. Well, yeah, a man or a mouse. Get down there and Mary may have a go with you. You wouldn't want to be the only man in town she hasn't had a go with, would you? All right, so <laughs> I guess she's well known for uh, being friendly. Hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort. That Does everybody know already? Kill itself. Get down there and earn a meal for once. Wait, do you know me? Why is he saying for once? Do I have a reputation? Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest <laughs> in speaking with you any further, but you can tell I mean, at least she's open and honest about it, right? Like, <laughs> can't kill these rats? Then fuck off. I want nothing to do with you. <laughs> like, and then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't yeah, call it stealing. I, I, exactly. I didn't know it was, I mean, it was just a chest. all kinds of things in chess. And they never yeah, yeah. Like what are you saying? Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. God damn it. Oh, you can still hear the drunkard singing in the background. I love it. Um, oh, wait, was that that an attack? Okay, that's attack. What do the other? Oh, okay. Well, I can't do Square. That yet. Oh, we can summon. A, that's how we summon a rat. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go back upstairs. Go, go back downstairs. At least these load times seem reasonable. Okay, so that's how we pull out a sword then? Yes. <clears throat> we can smash stuff. Do we have like an inventory screen or anything? Okay, so it literally just divided everything up evenly. Which, fine. Talentless token list? What's our talents? Oh yeah, crit crit critical strike, of course. We picked that one. Toon must be like summon rat. <laughs> Common rat, yeah, th that's the name of the tune, just rat. I like it. We have a sword, a loot, and some padded armor. Okay. Guess there's only one way to really figure out what the hell's going on. Just keep going deeper. The menu on this looks a little bit familiar to that uh, Baldur's game, Baldur's Gate game that we played, the spinoff one. I can't remember Baldur's Gate. Oh man, I'm not. I can't remember. What it's called, I can't remember, like, at all. That's kind of terrible, but... Yeah, whatever. The save menu, at least. Do we have camera control? We do. 
sick. I kind of wish the minimap had an option to leave it locked. I much prefer whenever minimaps are just like locked to north. Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Wait a second. It's a freaking fire breathing rat? What is that? The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. What happens if we just let ourselves die down here? Um, I mean, I'm assuming it would just be like game over, but wait, is the, does the fire ever go out? Is it just permanently lit? <laughs> Are we just gonna, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take it everybody knew already. Nice about the fire breathing oh, rat. Well done. <laughs> Not well done. More like medium rare. Now we'll have another go at him with this. I think the camera was you meant to be just a little bit lower there. <laughs> Seems a little, uh, a little high. It was focusing on the wrong thing, that's all. Oh wait, is that our rat friend? Huh, I thought he died to be honest since, you know, his little health bar there is like all red and, uh, he kind of got fire breathed all over him. Which couldn't have felt too nice. Oh, who are you? Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could, but I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favor and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Why doesn't Done. he just do it himself? Though? Show me what you got. Thunder spider? That sounds pretty nifty. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know you... I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humor you, old man. The whole you're game going to be just proven, us... You know how to move around and attack with your weapon. Let's summoning rats. Bit about jumping. Of course I know how to walk around. And jumping? <laughs> I know how to jump. Press the triangle button. What? What are you on about? What button? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Do we need to there, be able to jump? I jumped. Wasn't that amazing? Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the circle button. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the button, you'll have to time your defense. I did. I did defense. notice that. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the R1 button. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? He's really not. You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. Press the circle, circle button. Press Where? the square button. 
That was useful, at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. <laughs> but they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the directional buttons. For example, mm, okay. press up to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Charge! You gonna, like, ah. kill this dude? No, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I've expected the spider to just attack this, this dude that's trying to teach us things. To Tutorial dude. Strategies. Now at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, R1, circle, square. Great. Very good. Look at us go. As well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. Now, did it automatically equip the broadsword that we got? Because I'm assuming it was for story reasons, but our first sword that we brought down here literally didn't do anything. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. Uh, what was it? No, select. Equipment. Broadsword. Okay, yeah, so it did automatically. What the altar stones are for? 5 to 17 damage, so that is a hell of a lot better than what we had before. I'm assuming, like, we have limited amount of mana to summon things with or something? Oh, that must be the green up in the top left there, but it seems to, like, refill fairly quickly. I wonder if it's possible to beat this rat without... The spider. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, whose bravery. How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay? Kind of like the whole like narrator breaking the fourth wall, getting into fights with us, kind of thing. Okay, so R two does nothing yet. R1 or L2 also seems to do more or less nothing other than we can pick between just regular fists or sword, depending on whether we use L2 or L1. So I assume that's some sort of equipment thing. <gasps> Sorry, man. I'm. Ah! To where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it the thing's dead i've plenty of guts my lady which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer you mean it's dead oh thank you i can't tell you how grateful i am Twas the least i could do for a damsel in distress now how about that meal why don't you wait while i fix you some leftovers Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Yeah, oh, but notice there was only one room and your chest seemed to be in there. <laughs> is it actually a room for, I like, the bar, or...? Uncomfortable hmm. shabby bed. The bard awoke the next morning in a foul humor. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. He ain't no friend of mine, I promise you that much. I don't even know the dude. He just kind of appeared while I was in the basement. Wait, are they gonna sing again if we... Ooh, if we yeah, talk to them? Friend's giving me quite a charge. Bring him around again sometime, Moon. Is it gonna be the same song, or like... Yeah, okay. No, it's the same thing. We'll just skip that. That's cute, though. Whenever we skip the song. Just boring. Move along. I'd say it's a little over the top. Well, kind of the that. humor and You're just everything. Man. But, like, Thanks I like a lot of what they're going for, though. You're welcome, boy. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trowel in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. 
They're devilish clever, a trowel. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Uh, so, like, this choice menu's popped up a few times. I'm assuming the one on the left is, like, angry or sarcastic or something, where the circle one, the one on the right is... I don't know. I mean, it looks happy. Let's try giving him an angry response. Do I look like a village idiot to you? I've had more than my fill of barbarian hordes, evil wizards, cities locked in eternal winter, and any other type of adventure you care to throw my way. There's too much danger and not enough profit to go around. Come now, Voyo. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about... I will wee trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide mm, the necessary mystical okay. power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Here, laddie. Try it out. New artifact, Kaylee? What? It's just a person? <laughs> Wait, did we just summon like a healer or something? Um, I don't know. I guess the happy Who response. She? She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. And uh, what were you saying about a trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. Many thank old dude. Um, honestly, I kind of have no idea what we're doing still. Going somewhere Bye. for some reason. Uh, you're pardoned. Is this like an actual town? Pardon me. Okay. I guess we're just going... I don't know, this way? He didn't really give us, like, a direction or anything. Just said to check the thing. Maybe the yellow marker over there. That's probably our quest location. That would make sense. <laughs> Ooh, chest. Gib. Diary times two. Can we actually, like, read these diaries, or... Is there any point to us picking them up? Do we have... We don't just have like a generic inventory that I can see. Maybe, maybe that's a main menu thing? Like in the extras tab? I can't remember what all was there, but that would make some level of sense to me. Let's just go the way it's telling us to go. Hey stranger. Oh. Hey stranger. New time to talk new. Everybody's late for a date with her, man. I mean, from what I've heard, it's been literally the entire town. How do we leave here? This? This looks like a door. That's what the white things are, right? Square to enter Fairy Haunt Woods. I mean, it's just got, like, the word haunt in it. I'm sure it's fine. What are the chances that anything bad would happen here? It's the blue. Okay, so that's safe point. Which, I mean, we probably should, but... Where's the fun in that, right? It's fine. Gotta live life on the edge a little bit. Okay, red is probably a group of enemies. Charge! Go ahead. Char charge. Get them. I guess, oh, I say, I guess we can help out, but instead, I'm just kind of getting my ass kicked. <laughs> That's some good AI there, completely stuck over there. Bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Well, wait, am I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Well, I'm just going to skip those passages in the future. What? 
That's a major source of income, you cheap good-for-nothing horses. <clears throat> and so the bard continued on his journey. I love that the game doesn't actually take itself too seriously, though. I do appreciate that. And it seems like all of the random junk that we pick up is just automatically being converted to gold. Which, fair, you know, that's fine by me. We don't really have any other use for, for the crap, at least not yet. It's not like we can shop or sell stuff or whatever. I mean, it did mention, like, getting a better price, but uh, that could just be buying price, I guess. <coughs> or maybe just, like, when it automatically switches or converts stuff to, to gold, we would get a better price if we had more, what was it, the charisma skill? Um, with the dude being gone, can we just, like, resummon him? What did the other directional buttons do? If up makes him more aggressive. Over here. Come to me. Come to me. Right tells him to come to us, even though. Come to me. Hold back. Stay where you are. Stay where attack. you are, and then attack. Okay. I mean, we're probably Take gonna back. leave it on attack at least most of the time. Wonder, like, do we get experience for killing things? Should we be trying to murder as much as possible? Or should we just be beelining it for the for the exit? I mean, we do get money, if nothing else. So I'm sure the money will come in handy at some point, at least. Oh, we missed a pelt. A square to open the chest? There's a chest here? Oh! That log is a chest. Okay. Some random beer bottles. That's... Why not? Why not? Charge! Man, why can't we find another wolf that's just full of garbage? I don't even think they're trying to attack me. I think they're trying to attack my spider and somehow I just keep getting hit. I wonder if the spider heals over time or not. Really? hello! I'm very, very tired. Melee attack just redeemed hydrate. But we will we will hydrate. We will take a drink of tea for you. As soon as as soon as okay, everybody's dead. It's fine. Uh here you go. Uh, you didn't see it. There you go. I'm so tired, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's fine. Everything's fine. That is a big ass wolf there. Um, it's, oh god, we're gonna die. Oh, oh we're dead. <laughs> Thus ends the bard's tale. So, do we have to reload? Load last save, you do. Oh no, we really should have been, like, saving every chance we had. Uh, I didn't expect to, like, die so easily right at the beginning of the game, though. And there's no, like, autosave or anything, is there? There's not. <laughs> Garbage. Okay. Um... That's fine. As long as we just, like, rush through it. It shouldn't take long to get back to where we were, but... Because can we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can skip. We can skip all the cutscenes, it seems like, which is nice. I do appreciate that. finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. And again, I love the sarcastic, like, next and... All that crap. Whenever we skip cutscenes, get to the good part. Like, is good. Is good stuff. I like. All right, old, old weird dude. New tune, rat. Before you head down there, uh, like, skip tutorial. I know what I'm doing, old man. I have no need for advice from the likes of you. Kind of rude of us to just tell him off like that, but I mean, you know what? We literally just listened to him a moment ago, so it's fine. I think we I think we earned a a good telling him off. Can we have more than one thing summoned Sorry, at a time? Out of room. No, okay. At least not right now. It must just be like one thing per circle on the side over there. Charge. 
Charge! Right. Attack! 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 I promise I stopped pressing that button forever ago. It must just like queue it up. So we got caught on fire again. Okay, skip cutscene. Is it gonna? <laughs> Next. Still so mad that like he doesn't even drop anything for us, man. Wait, do we even have our weapon equipped? No, we didn't. Garbage. I can't help but wonder, like, is there any point to stuff? I guess not. I mean, we don't have a menu, so. I've plenty of gut. Twas the least. You should go. Sp Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go speak with the old dude out here. Um. It's like, what's the point of charisma? That's really going to bother me. Maybe it is just for buying prices or something. Uh, mm, whatever. It would be nice this time. a little dangerous to me. Who wish? Okay, we got the thingy. New artifact. We got some adder stone. Next. And so how do we actually use it? I'm pretty sure he would have, like, told us. But, okay, it's R2. What are you? Oh, that's just a random axe. Okay, I thought that was like a person or something. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was very confused. I was way off base, but very confused nonetheless. Should we like be fighting more stuff maybe? Before we uh before we run in and try to kill, like, the big, big wolf? Or, like... Should we just not worry about it? Maybe we'll just do better next time? I have no idea. I guess, I guess maybe we should be trying to, like, actually kill things. Just a little bit, you know? A little bit of murder can go a long way. And then we could probably, like, use the one dude, the Kaylee artifact, or whatever the fuck it's called. ...found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Wait, wait am, I, am I reading that? Next. You like everything, just instantly converted to gold. It's weird. Where'd that other wolf go? <laughs> one of them just ran... Wait, Viking sword? Wait, that's a new sword, though. Can we actually use that? Maybe it... Does it, like, automatically upgrade to whatever the best sword is? No. It, 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 I mean, I guess maybe the one we have is actually better than the Viking one. But I don't know. It's a Viking sword. It sounds cool. I want to give it a try. I just noticed, like, the blue circle around our health and magic pool and whatnot. I wonder if maybe that is, like, our experience points. Is it going to go up again if we kill more of these, more of these wolves or just, like, get destroyed? Okay, that's right. We can block. That is a thing we can do. We should probably try and do. At least a little bit. Noise. Okay, it, it does seem to be going, like, up. Sorry, I'm, like, falling asleep here. Don't mind me. Ooh, what is that? Oh, picnic basket. Okay. <laughs> That wolf just had a whole picnic basket in his belly. That makes a lot of sense, you know? I mean, when you're hungry, you just eat whatever you can get, I suppose. More adder stones. Um. Oh, a wolf. I'm assuming wolf, yep. Oh, this one was, like, sleeping or something. I feel a little bit bad, I'm not gonna lie. 
It's on his way to a picnic and you just murder. I'm sorry. He tried to eat me. I'm not picnic food. I'm I'm a person. Eat the spider. He's spicy. Look at him. He's <laughs> He's got all those like little little jets of electricity coming off of him and whatnot. I you would taste fantastic. Just eat him. And the other one I do feel a little bit bad about the napping one, but like yeah, mm, I don't know. He gave me he gave me some bad vibes, you know. He looked at me kind of crooked, and I'm pretty sure he was coming for me. Wink. Uh <laughs> So I had to, I had to kill him. I couldn't, <laughs> I can't help it, you know? <laughs> Maybe he's waiting for the boy with the picnic basket. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> they were going to have a date and we just murdered him. <laughs> okay. I feel a little bad. Just a little bit though, you know? Oop. <laughs> Oh god. Anyways, a bunch of drunkards in the, the local pub were singing a song about beer and the inventor of beer. To dispel before so many more. That's that's all it was. It was it was it was something. Yeah, it was like a full blown song. It was not expected. I thought it was gonna be like nothing, to be honest. I thought they were just gonna tell us something or just ramble about some useless shit or whatever. And instead, no, they actually sang, like, a whole three-part song to us. It was, uh, it was something. It was, <laughs> it was a thing that exists in the game. It, it, it was even, like, sing-along style and everything. Like, there was a little bouncing ball highlighting the words as they were singing them and everything. It was, it was interesting. Bro, why are you running away? Get back here. How am I supposed to murder you for your pelts that are worth four gold pieces? I'm scared, like, where this big one is. I also just realized that I did not save again. Oh, God. There's so many. There's so many of them, though. <laughs> okay, we need to go back to, like, the beginning. And, uh, the Charlie Mop song? Yes. <laughs> I'm guessing you know it. I'm not surprised that you do. But, like, <laughs> yeah, of course you do. You just <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Anyways, uh, I'm, I think there was a save point back here at the beginning of this area, though. We should probably go there and, like, save before we die and have to do everything over again although I, I guess if we like completely die and go back to the bar again we could listen to the song again <laughs> which who doesn't want to do that right you used to have it in your shanty playlist again i'm not even a little surprised not even a little bit it seems like the sort of thing you would have in your shanty playlist you specifically would have in your shanty playlist are you a person? Oh, hi. I don't remember seeing you here before. Did I run hey, past this you before? This is a great place to hunt. It's teeming with grouse. If you haven't got a bow, you should get yourself one and try your hands at hunting. I mean, I would love a bow. Any hints on where to get one? You didn't know it came from a game? I'm not positive it did come from the game. Like, they might have just sang it in the game that doesn't mean that it came from here you know because it sounds like it was just some sort of like i could see it just being some sort of old song from like insert place in europe here you know what i mean like <laughs> pretty much anywhere over there just a just an old pub song is what it sounds like research time yes find out share with the class i'm actually kind of curious myself but I'd be willing to bet that it that it's just like a, a classic pub song of some sort. Oh god. Where are we going? Ah okay, we're getting stuck on everything. 
I hear like wolves, but I don't see any anywhere. I mean, I guess we probably murdered them all already is why. Well, nope, here's a whole a whole bunch of them again. Okay, well, there's the yellow one. Is this like, is Daddy Wolf over here or? Oh, there's Daddy Wolf. Okay, back and away. Wait, what? Oh. Did we just get another picnic basket? We did. <laughs> Need to summon our spider back again. We're pretty much useless without him. We need his, like, stunning abilities to do anything. It's an old folk song from the British Isles about the mythical creator of beer, Charlie Mops. Does, like... I'm just kind of curious, like, who actually invented beer now? Like, was it Charlie? Did Mr. Did Mr. Mop invent beer? Oh my god, dude. He's stunned. Ah, no! He was stunned! Let's go! Get him! No! Okay, run away, run away, run away! Uh, level one, I guess? I don't know. More <laughs> research. <laughs> you got this. Okay, level one is enough for a full heal. I'm guessing each level costs another stone. I'm guessing. I have no idea, actually, but it only seemed to use one for that. And we picked one, so it just makes sense to me for, like, two to cost two and three to cost three, etc. Get wrecked, big dude. Really? And all we got was a bigger wolf pelt from him. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it's literally just a wolf pelt that's worth, like, double the other ones. But they're so much harder to kill. It probably wasn't worth it, honestly. Hey, when we leveled up. Okay, uh, square. Um, give me more strength, I guess. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee. I honestly, I would rather use a bow and use dex, but we don't even have one yet. Yeah, screw it. Just give us more strength. Give us more, more oomph behind our, behind our weapon strikes. I can't actually tell if it's doing anymore or not. Oh wait, if we go to our equipment screen, we could probably tell from there. Right, because it was like five to... Uh, I feel like it was five to 17 before, but maybe like it just rolls higher on that table. Like it still does a max of 17, but we're more likely to do, you know, 10 plus now instead of like before averaging around eight or something. I don't know. Is there any way to see, like, the map bigger? That hides and unhides the map. Hmm. Whatever, let's just go to the quest marker then. We gotta level up. That's something. Maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll get a bow. That'd be cool. I want a bow. This... Is this blood? Oh, jump! Jump? No. Jump doesn't work. How do we... Oh, okay. Hello, Banafeet. Well, now, who have we here, eh? You must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. That's me. You must be Banafeet. I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now, it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favor, I might be willing to part with it. All right, let's hear this favor, then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swart. Spring him free for me and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols, but you can get through the door with only a password. You'll need to say Fiddlesnuff to the Kunal Trow guarding the door to be let in. So, just get him out I'm gonna and forget. then come back here and I'll teach you some magic. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try not to, but Fiddlesnuff? Just have that song for me when I get back. I'm no man's errand boy. Fiddle snarf. Show my goodwill. I we got this. Up a quick way back to town for you. Oh, that's nice. Can we? Can does it like go both ways? This quick way back to town, or or do we still have to run all the way back out here? We should definitely save before we end up dying again. 
also. My TV getting cold. It's believed beer was invented by the Sumerians around 8,000 BCE, and they lived in what is now Iraq. So probably not Charlie Mop. Is what <laughs> Charlie Mop did not make the mythical beer from Hop. That's what I'm hearing. That's too bad. I was really rooting for good old Charlie, Charlie Mop, you know? I kind of want to... What happens if we, like... <laughs> okay. I thought we would, like, attack the cow. I didn't know we were just going to go freaking cow tipping, dude. What happens if we tip all the cows? Are there any more cows around here? Yes. Tip. <laughs> we tip all the cows. <gasps> Hobbit hole. Oh, I can't go in it. That's sad. Can we do anything to the chickens? Oh. Uh, <laughs> we got a nugget. A nugget worth one gold. Probably a chicken nugget. Oh my god. The game's terrible. <laughs> of course it's a chicken nugget. Where's the... Why do we need to come back to town? Oh, cow. <laughs> Why would we want to come back to town, I guess is what I was saying. Is there anything actually to do here in town? Because, like, other than the bar... I haven't found anything else useful. It's just random people. <laughs> a bunch of cows that we can tip over. I mean, we can collect chicken nuggets, I guess. That's a thing. Sheriff's office. I'm looking to see if there's like a shop or something. Store. Perfect timing. Literally. Okay. Called it the divine drink and worship the goddess of brewing Ninkas Ninkasi. Ninka um, nope. <laughs> they also found a tablet with the oldest known beer recipe. I kind of want to try it. I wonder what it tasted like. Hello, Seamus. Is it just you here? It does appear to be. All right. Seamus. Well, now, you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about. The fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honored I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armor, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final, with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have I mean, that's, a buyback that's clause. All fair. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Ha ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule. You break it, you buy it. Okay. Um, a map to untold riches. Wait, does that cost 4200 Interesting. Peeking at my map, are you? I can tell you this much. Holy it's shit. It's as old as the hills and chock full of danger and That's delight. an expensive map, the bro. I had it from said there's plenty of frights to make things hot. Plenty of X's marking the spot. Um, yeah, no, I think we'll skip that for now. Uh, what kind of bows do you sew? So? If you ask me, there's no better place to battle a deadly foe than from a distance. The more you spend on this ranged weapon, they will not only put you further from your enemy, but also further from your own tombstone. That's a lot better than what we have. What else you got? 9 to 29. Compared to what are five to seventeen? This is where we have our close. I wonder, weapon. does it require when you're battling a foe ammo? Close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most Unblockable cases, chance, a hundred percent. Weapon walks away to tell the tale. Pay more. I mean, we're not like particularly proficient in anything, and we don't have enough money for any of that stuff, anyways. With our current sword, we could probably use. A, a shield. Never mind, there isn't any shields. The stuff, but none of them have been Let me see something else. Okay. So fuck it then, we'll just buy the bow. The way of bows. If you ask me, there's no better place to buy long bow. Interesting. You're looking to drop them from a distance, that's a long bow. These are the finest kiln dried white ash bows from the weapon shops of Kirkwall. The choice of Sylvan Assassins and until re I'll take it. Ex I'm out of here. Everybody's very long-winded, aren't they? <laughs> uh, now, how do we actually use the bow, though? Is it... Aha! There we go. Okay. And if we go to our equipment screen, I'm assuming it's going to be just, like, there somewhere? Yeah. 9 to 29 minus 1. I'm assuming the minus 1 is we don't have skill in it. Or maybe, like, our dex is too low to make proper use of it or something? 
After the Sumerians, the Babylonians discovered it in 3000 BCE and then the Egyptians around 1500 BCE. So it's been discovered at least three times in history. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not terribly surprised, I guess, you know? Discovering beer is basically just taking a risk and Excuse drinking me. some dirty water. <laughs> I mean, basically, right? Because it's just like some sort of grain sitting in water for a period of time. And then somebody came along and was like, mm, you know what? I'm really thirsty. I think it'd be worth giving that a drink anyways. And then they find out that it not only tastes okay, but also uh, gets them a little happy feeling, right? <laughs> like, So, yeah. Not surprised it's been uh, discovered a few times. Why are there so many... Are those flies? Is this like a poop pit? Why? <laughs> what is going on here? I wonder if there's any way to lock on to enemies. Greeks and Romans had their own form. See, Greeks and Romans always think of like wine, right? I'm sure they drank beer too, but... Wine is just kind of where my head automatically goes. Oh my god. Uh, I'm really trying here, man, but... <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Okay, we're fine. My plan tomorrow, by the way... Uh, I do plan on streaming tomorrow. I may or may not be right on time. I might be a little bit late. Uh, it depends on how tired I am. If Noodle had their way, I wouldn't be streaming at all. But, like, I plan on streaming. Oh, hi. Um, But I do definitely need to, like, get some rest and stuff tomorrow. So there's a chance that I might be just a, just a little bit late. We'll see. It depends. This is not where we were before, is it? There doesn't seem to be any sort of like... Uh, I don't know, I say that, but maybe it is automatically locking onto enemies. Oh, we missed! I didn't even know missing was an option. Here, let's, uh, let's re-equip our sword for a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it seems like it would be very difficult to actually block every hit that comes in. Not impossible or anything, just difficult. Since I'm not positive we're actually meant to be here yet, I'm just going to kind of try and beeline it for... Ooh, they can block too, for the uh, for the quest point. Oh, that's a lot. I was hoping the shop would sell like consumables, like healing potions or something. That sort of thing, because that would have been very, very handy. I mean, we do heal over time, right? I think we do. Ops only started being used around 1000 AD, and beer wasn't produced commercially in Europe until the 13th century. Nice. Holy sh... Bro. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should have gone the other way. All right, we'll turn around. We'll go back the other way. <laughs> I mean, the quest marker was, like, pointing us this way, though, so it's weird. I don't know. Or drink. Uh, hey, no problem, him. I like learning about things. <laughs> Enjoy your research, your, your beer research. Do you even like beer? I know you drink, of course, obviously, but, like... Are you a beer drinker? I'm personally not a huge beer drinker, to be honest. The beer's okay. I can drink it, but it's not, like, a favorite of mine at all. There's only a couple that I kind of like. Even then, it really is only, like, barely. It's bearable, more than anything. What is this? Is this where we came in at? Ah, yeah, Fairy Haunt Woods. It's not your go-to, but if it's offered to you, you accept it. Isn't that how you are with literally, like, all alcohol, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> is there any alcohol you would turn down if it was given to you? <laughs> oh, hi. Why are you 
I didn't expect to just spawn in with enemies around. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to just like call you out like that. It's just, I don't know. That's, <laughs> I was just curious. That's all, you know. Is what you originally started drinking? Who didn't start with beer, though, you know? Stealing beer from their parents' liquor cabinet. Well, not liquor cabinet, but more like the fridge than anything, I guess. Okay, yeah, so there is definitely, like, auto lock on. But the lower damage kind of... Or not even so much, like, the lower damage. It's just the speed, like, how slow it is. Run away, run away, run away. But I mean, this is very handy to be able to just let our our summoned creatures deal with stuff and then we stand back and just kill things from a distance. And if we can do it like that, where we seem to be outside that dude's range, then that's like double good. Okay, so our quest marker, or our quest definitely isn't in this area. I guess we would just come here for like more experience and gold. It does seem like we can kind of just grind because everything respawned. Like 13, 14 ish. Honestly, don't remember when exactly I started like drinking at all. I know it was pretty early on. I know my first drink was super early in life, but that was just like me and my brothers all fighting over. A, uh, a wine cooler type thing. Actually, to be specific, I'm pretty sure it was a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Um, I don't remember the exact age, but we were we were young. And then for the first time, we probably stole beer from like our parents' <laughs> fridge. I think I was still living at home, so I couldn't have been any older than like 12. I think. It's possible I was just visiting, but I'm pretty sure I was still living there. So probably around 12-ish. That's also when I started smoking, which I definitely don't suggest. I mean, don't drink either, kids, of course, but like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's so like that, that timeline would make sense is all I'm saying for me. Oh, I just realized our dude's dead. Uh... How do we summon dudes again? There we go. Oh, hi. Wait, spider? There we go. Focus on him. Spider friend wants to wants to talk to you. Why is he not oh. attacking? <laughs> Just do something, spider friend. It's your one and only job. Drink some around the age of three because you remember seeing your dad and his friend drink, so I wanted some. I don't know how you remember <laughs> being that young, honestly. Like... That just seems <laughs> impossible to me, man. My oldest memories are like six-ish, five at the earliest. Anything before that is just like, it didn't even happen, it's fake. <laughs> like, <laughs> the world just didn't exist before I was like five years old. Nothing happened then. Okay, Bo does seem a little OP. I mean, granted, we are one level higher than we were the first time we came through here, but the way we can just stand back and just spam arrows at everything, honestly, kind of rude. They split up when you were two. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. It's still just wild to me, though. As somebody that can't remember any of that, like... You know, that's just so weird to me, man. I can hardly remember, like, yesterday, though, too. So, I guess there's that. Chocobo, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, I'm surprised. You came back to work in the same store as me? I've seen you once. <laughs> like, granted, you're coming in, like, as I'm leaving and stuff. I just, I still thought I would have ran across you by now. The one time, though, you were, like, across the store as I was leaving and you were coming in and, yeah. That's the only time I've actually seen you. It's wild. Just die, Mr. Wolf. Thank you. We're going to single-handedly destroy the, the market for wolf pelts in this, this economy. <laughs> That's... Yeah, okay, fair. 
<laughs> I'm usually trying to leave around that time. Granted, I usually don't actually get out of the door until like a couple minutes after one or one couple minutes after ten. Because like, yeah, I gotta shop and stuff, but trying to leave by then. It's a lot better than me. I usually pull in at like nine after. <laughs> no, it's usually like seven ish after is kind of like my my norm. It's <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> Oops, shoot, you're still alive. Just die already, bro. Thanks. Give me your pelt. I'm sure there's some children in town that would love to have a blanket made of your pelt. Remember for recent things of shit, you can't remember half the things you say anymore, but your memories of childhood are like stuck in your head and won't leave. That's just wild to me, dude. I don't I don't get it. My memory's just shit, period. Like <laughs> No, like my memory itself isn't actually bad, right? Like there's I remember some things. It's just like I have no control over what I remember. It's mostly like stupid random shit that doesn't really matter. That's kind of that's kind of what I tend to remember instead of you know actual like useful information or whatever I say or do at any given point like that stuff just disappears. Fun facts. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> I remember stupid things like that. Just stupid fun facts that that are never they may have been useful like twice in my life, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's that's it. Not not anything that actually matters. It's dumb. Memories are dumb. Hold R1, L1. Ooh. Press up, up, Charge. down, down, left, right, Attack. left, right. Back off. Back Everything off. on? Stay Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Over here. <laughs> um, okay. What was... What's everything on? I don't know how to do that. Okay. So it didn't, like, level us up. It did give us a bunch of money, and then... We got a thing that popped up that said everything on. What does everything on do? Are we, like, invincible? I don't know if there's any more enemies around here to fight to to test. Hold on. Let's leave and then come back. Told him I have an appointment tomorrow, like, five times today. <laughs> okay. To be fair to me right now, I have been running on, like, two, three hours less sleep than usual. <laughs> And I am very tired, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but R1 and L1 and enter these cheats in game. God mode, right, left, right, left, up, down, up, down. Damage times 100. <laughs> Enemy attacks pass through Bard. Wait, so did we get all of it? Is that what it means by everything on? No, okay, our, our attacks are still normal. Attack me back. Damn it, dude. I want to, like... You did the last one. Oh, okay. Silver pieces and adder stones. Okay. It was just weird that it popped up and said everything on. <laughs> Probably forgot. To, I just I didn't completely forget. I kind of remembered a little bit. <sighs> my tea is very cold. I should have put it on my warmer, but... Or the other ones. I don't want enemy attacks pass right through Bard. Full health and mana. That's kind of useful considering there's no like consumables that I can seem to find. Damage times 100. I don't think we need any of those other ones. Although to be fair, I'm like half asleep. So I'm going to. Mm, let's save before we do anything crazy. It's not like I'm ever going to come back to the save. I don't know why I care to save. Oh God, my chair is leaning forward. Lean back chair. Thank you. you. No, you're fine. If I really wanted to, I could put it on my warmer still. Um, but either way, it's fine. I could just drink it too. What was I going to say though? Oh, I was trying to decide whether we should like... No, not fists. I was trying to... Oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, wait a second. Did we actually lose health when we just got attacked? We are losing health. Okay. Oh, God. We're definitely losing health. Can we shoot you guys from, like, up here? Will you come up here and fight me, or... 
You just stay down there. We just got experience for something. We must have killed someone. Um, I mean, okay, we just got like unlimited adder stones, basically. So what happens like when we press circle? Level three. I mean, it still seems to just be like a, a full heal. There's definitely, we have some other sort of buff too, it looks like, but I don't know. I don't know what it does. Wait, are we like temporarily immune to damage? Bro, why are you running away? Get back here. You almost broke your cereal mug with your tumbler? Don't do that. <laughs> Why would you do that? That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, well, we're definitely not immune to damage now, but whatever. All right, so we leveled up. That was my that was my actual goal. I just want to level up. Let's put our let's put our decks up a little bit so we can be better with bow. Allows the bard to equip and use. Oh, and we can choose a talent. Improved crits would be nice. So would power shot. Shield charge, I don't even know, like powerful, powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, use with a sword skill. Mm -hmm. It's weird it's called shield skill. charge, but then you just Hold use it with your sword, like button to activate. An improved <laughs> chance to score a more deadly critical hit. Power shot. The bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Hold and release the attack button. Let's just do improved critical. Fuck it. Through its target. Okay. Used with the ranged skill. Hold and release the attack button to activate. Or the lols. Because, like, screw it. Where was the weapon damage times 100? Like, what was that one? God mode. Damage times 100. Uh, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Wait, can we, like, turn them back off? Ah, oh, you can. That's cool. That they're like toggleable. I mean, sick. Okay, I still love. This is so far my favorite thing about the game. Is that you can just go around tipping cows, and the fact that nobody seems to care. They just completely ignore the fact that you're tipping cows left and right, or killing chickens and taking their nuggets. Like nobody, nobody even notices. Right, damage times 100. We we got this, boy. I ain't even scared now. These dudes gonna be easy. So Wait, how did it fall over on your cereal bowl, though? That's what I don't get. Like, I get that it's a heavy tumbler, and that it falling over could easily break something. Oh, God. I'm like, I'm gonna die. Um, but like, yeah, were you like, you were trying to get the straw cover off. How did that like leak? I don't know. Why was it so close to your thing though, to your cereal bowl? Or was it like in the sink? That's what I'm, that's what I'm confused about. Were you eating cereal then? Why? I don't know. Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. I just like... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I didn't know you were eating cereal. That's why I was confused. Because, like, we just had dinner, so I didn't know you were hungry again. That's all. Wait. Times 25? Or not 20. Is it doing more dan- Oh, God. We're still going to, like, end up dying. Is it doing, like, the times 100 damage, but it's only showing 25? Because everybody's dying in one hit. Or maybe they have 25 health, so it doesn't show them taking more damage than they have health. Oh, God. No. <laughs> and so ends our tale with the tragic death of our hero. 
Screw it. God mode it is. <laughs> Where's the God mode cheat? I got it. I see the God mode cheat. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> Right, left, right, right, Over left, here. right, left, up, down, up, down. Over here. Stay where you Can't be hurt. Charge. Hold back. And then back down, off. up, down, Attack. left, right, left, right. Attack. Damage Hold times back. 100. Stand your ground. Come Let's to go. Me. Stand your ground. Come to me. What's the... Release L1, close them. Oh, yeah, okay. Are we... Where are we right now? No, we're in the right one, I think. I'm assuming it's... Oh, shoot. Um, Some kind of... Whatchamacallit. Frosted Flakes, because that's like what we have. Question of the day. Physical copies versus digital downloads. Which is the superior way to own video games and why? I, uh, I think it's pretty clear which one I prefer, but I am curious what everybody else likes between the two. Yeah, the damage times 100 doesn't seem to be working properly. Like, this dude should have been dead in one hit if we were doing 100 times damage, you know? But instead we're doing 9. Can you not have more than one cheat enabled at a time? Hold on, where is the... Both in mana, enemy attacks pass through bard. Where's the times 100 again? Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Okay, it's on. Get back here, dude. Stop running from me. Okay, well, I don't know then. Maybe it is or or that. Maybe it wasn't on. But yeah, no, I'm I'm 100% physical copies myself as well. It's just a matter for me of like actually a high owning things, you know, health. that I that I like. Defeat in battle. It's nice to actually own the disc, have something to sit on your shelf if you want to. Um, there's something a bit nostalgic about putting things in a console, like putting a disc or a cartridge or whatever actually in the console itself. Um, backups are a thing too and that you can do. Whereas like if a digital store closes, then you're just kind of SOL. You lose all that crap you bought. But if you own a physical copy, then you own it forever unless it gets lost or stolen or something, right? So like, yeah, I'm definitely a, a physical copy person. The only thing that I like better about digital downloads is the convenience factor. That's the only thing that I think is better about digital downloads, right? Because, like, say on the PlayStation 5, you know, if your entire library is digital downloaded, then you can just sit on your couch, lay in bed, whatever, and swap between games to your heart's freaking content without having to get up, which is nice. But, like, other than that, though, bro, it's all about physical. And at least with the PS2, it's possible to do the same sort of thing. That's what I've been doing. I got this, uh, I mean, for stream, I still play the actual, like, discs, you know, like, here's my, it's still got a sticker on it, so I'm not going to show, like, the other side, but, like, there's my, my case and everything with a disc, or that had the disc in it and all that BS, but, like, anyways, I got the fancy remote so I can turn it on and off without having to get up, and I have open PS2 loader loaded up with all kinds of uh, all of my games and things. Not literally all of them, because I have so many, but all the ones that I, like, kind of care about, and, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So then if I wanted to, I could literally just, like, lay in bed or on the couch or something and play all of the, all of the good PS2 games. It's just a flesh wound. He finishes Strawberry and Cinnamon? Yes, I actually finished my Strawberry Cinnamon and Chocolate. I'm down to regular Frosted Flakes at this point. I've eaten all three of them. Mix all three Frosted Flakes together. Uh, the cinnamon doesn't actually make, like, milk, though. It doesn't flavor the milk. The cinnamon one is just, like, a Frosted Frosted Flake, right? Like, they take a Frosted Flake, and then they put, like, a, a cinnamon glaze on it, kind of. Like, it's really good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't it doesn't flavor the milk or anything. Which is too bad. Um, it's much more like just a regular frosted flake. The honestly, the strawberry one's my favorite. The I thought the chocolate one would be because I fucking love chocolate, but the chocolate one, like I don't know, the chocolate has a weird taste to it. It's not bad or anything. It's just it tastes. It's 
I describe it as it's chocolate, like cereal chocolate, you know? It's kind of like Cocoa Pebbles or something type of chocolate, not like just chocolate. I just want chocolate. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I'm weird, but that's kind of that's kind of what it's kind of how I felt eating that one. So it's probably out of the 3, it's probably strawberry, cinnamon and then chocolate. And regular frosted flakes would be above the chocolate too. Maybe below the cinnamon. It's hard to say. I really like the strawberry one though. The strawberry was very very good. Does anybody remember the the secret word? Hopefully it gives us like multiple choice and we can just pick the right one. Cause I I think it was like fiddle snacks, fiddle snarfs, fiddle fid, fiddle fid, fiddler on the roof. I I honestly I don't remember. Ooh, a trowel sword. Oh, that's just like a thing though. Oh, times 25. Nice, Chocobo dude. Chocobo enthusiast just redeemed vote on a game X25. Ico. Ico. Not Ico. Ico. I'm excited to play through those games. Ico and uh, the other one. Mm. <laughs> Fucking Hannah Montana. <laughs> Nulo519 just redeemed vote on a game X25. What's the password? Hannah Montana. Fiddlestaff. Oh, good. The dude remembered for us. <laughs> we didn't have to remember. It's Fiddle Snorf. Close enough. Fiddle, fiddle Sticks, Fiddle Snacks, Fiddle Snarf. It's all the same thing, right? So, Benefit must have... Hey, who are you? You aren't supposed to be here! Ah! I mean, we, we literally have God Mode enabled right now. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Honestly, I just enabled God Mode because I wanted to see what the next part of, like, the quest was. And I don't think, like, after this I'm going to be staying on anymore because I'm falling asleep over here. Uh, hello, people. Wait, are these the drunkards? Which one of you no, okay. Evans is Kettle Swart? Banafeet sent me here to set you free. I'm Kettle Swart. No, he's not. I'm Kettle Swart. Like hell, I'm Kettle Swart. To hell with them, I'm Kettle. What's it matter which one of us is Kettle? Set us all free. We'll never convince you which one of us are. Are they the drunkards? <laughs> they kind of look like the them. I tell you, and it will open the doors. Yes, the sheriff has these doors rigged with some bizarre six-switch combination lock that only he's supposed to know. But we've been watching closely, and we know the order to flip them. Already I've been reduced to flipping switches by order criminals. Great. So wait, which one do we do like first? Where are this? Oh, here's one. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, so no. Wait, where's the rest of them? Oh, here's one. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull that one. Okay. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull that one. What do you have against Hannah Montana? Mm, oh, I wonder. That one. I think that's ah. it. Pull that one. Hmm. It might be that one. No, not that one. Uh. What? Oh no, not that one. Hmm. It might be that one. No, not that one. I mean, two are saying no, one saying yes. No, that won't help. Hmm. It might be that one. No, no, no. What? <laughs> Bruh. Oh, there's a third one? I didn't even see this oh, one over here. One. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. Yes, yes. Pull that one. Okay, two are saying yes. No, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem right. There you go. Pull it and let us free. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem right. There you go. Pull it and let us free. This yes, is like, this is way too long-winded. This is just, this is written. No, 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 no. Why? Why is this a thing? And there's like no feedback oh, to if we're even doing one. it right or not. It might be I'm just assuming one. if two people no, say yes one and one person three. says no, then we still pull it. That's that's the one. That's it. 
Oh no, it isn't. Try another. No, the last one is lever three. Okay. <laughs> oh no, not that one. That might be there it. you go. Pull it and let us free. Okay. <laughs> I mean, two are saying yes. Did it work? I really hope it freaking worked, man. It seems to be it's doing something. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with you? We told you exactly what to do. Do you want us to draw you a picture? Yeah, sure. You draw me a picture. <laughs> I'll draw your picture. Actually, <laughs> you know what? Drawing a picture might actually be handy. Pull that one. Pull that one. I'm assuming there's like just one of them that we need Pull to listen to. Pull that one. I'm just going to listen to the dude in the middle. Heard it already. Pull that one. Get to the good part. Oh no. Yeah, not yes. that one. No. Get okay, to the not good that part. one. So then it has to be this one. Pull that. Skip it. No. That Get nope. to the good part. Or this is this is no. actually ridiculous. Boring. I the game seemed okay up until yes. now. That's now so I'm boring. like I don't know I don't want to ever have to do this again. No. This is <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. That's the one. Heard it already. I'm just waiting for another person to die. Okay, so yeah, we should just listen to the so dude in the middle all the time, so or the whole back. time. Yeah, uh, I haven't had this much fun since I was almost barbecued by a giant rat. For I real, though. I don't know how you did this, but I'm most thankful. It's a long story. Maybe you'd like to have a seat while I tell you about it. In the middle of a coonal trow infested jail. Let's get out of here before I regret what I've done. More than I already do. I like a lot of the humor. Although it's very over the top a lot of the time. But like... And I, it's just the sarcastic tone to it and the fourth wall breaking and the narrator that's kind of an ass. Like, I enjoy all that, but like, fuck. <laughs> to, 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 hmm. Yeah, no. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna down the rest of this drink. <sighs> Very tasty. Um, Maybe take a quick drink of water. I think we're going to call it there. I'm going to try and sleep eventually. <sighs> Hopefully I'll be on tomorrow. Hydrate again. I mean, I kind of just did twice, but Larry there you go. Just I chugged. Hydrate. Basically, it was like a giant gulp rather, but drink, drink all gone. How do you there? See, like spike tea all gone. Ugh. I agree. Sleep would be nice. Anyways, guys. Yep. Yeah, later on, man. Uh, thank you for stopping out. I do appreciate you all. Um, but yeah, one, Noodle has to get up early. Two, I just haven't been getting much sleep. I'm still going to try to stream tomorrow, but I might be a little bit late. I think that's pretty much everything I had to say. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> thank you again for coming out. Sorry I'm, like, stupid tonight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, be kind to each other. Do that, too. I almost forgot that part. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Pokemon Red? Hell yeah, dude. Stop. That is enough. I've been meaning to plug... Because, I mean, I own the physical cartridge for Pokemon Red, but I also own the game digitally on my DS. I've been meaning to plug it in so that I can do a run of Pokemon Red before we uh do it on <sighs> stream, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Traitor or no. You may have what it takes to beat Sin. Take this. You have earned it. Power Sphere times 30. We should be good on those for a bit. Thank Aeon Soul. I think you will do just fine. But what does that do? If you ever feel like you want more training, is that like a heal or something? Temple of Remian. Wait, what? I will be waiting there. Farewell. A hidden temple? That sounds pretty sick. Now that you have the Aeon Soul, you can raise your Aeon's attributes. First select attributes. Then select an Aeon. Oh, this is...
this is a way, like a bulk way to use spheres. 